Hey guys, and welcome to game number 15 out of 100 of the Mac vs. Machine series, where I'll be playing 100 games of Scrabble against the top Woogles.io bot, HastyBot. It's a pretty tight series. It's currently 8-6 in my favor, so we're going to see if we can hopefully get a W here and build up some momentum. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We'll be first this game, and we've got a little bit of a clunky rack here to start. Couple I's, a U and a Y. They never really go well together, so I might be looking at an exchange here. Certainly, plays like uh, like Hay are not going to be worth it. 18 points is uh, not enough this early in the game to justify IITU. I'll be plotting through that for at least one or two more turns, and going to be a while before I bingo, most likely. So, not too keen on that. Yeah, I think exchanging is called for. I'll exchange Y I I U. E H T is a nice flexible leave. Okay, he opens with redrive, so off to an early deficit. We should have some decent options here, though. I see extent from this E, which is pretty solid. It scores 42, keeps EH. We also have redriven and next. That's 38. HET versus HE. I guess HET is slightly stronger, but not by a ton. I kind of like extend just because I think it keeps the board more open in the long run. This uh, redrive hook is kind of nice for us um, to make redriven or redrives and it also extends. I'm going to be playing from a deficit, so I'd rather have as much volatility as I can for now. Also, it does score a few more points, so I think this uh, this should be worth it. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Okay, he bingos again with ice wine, so now we're already down almost 100, uh, if not actually more than 100, and we didn't get the best draw here. We drew J-U-Y. We might have to play something like Jury through this R. Not seeing many other good options. I'd love to get rid of another Val if I could. I guess there's Juicy, but I think that's too big a point sacrifice. I'm giving up 11 points just to get rid of the I, which... Uh, I don't think I can afford to do, given how much I'm already down. Yeah, I think I've got to just play Jury and hope hope to get a couple constants here and, and maybe put something together. But it's already starting to not look too good. Fortunately, I don't have anything through this I in Ice Wine, given how many vowels I already have on my rack. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this play, but... I'm going to go ahead and do it. I just don't see any other options. Okay, he plays Varia. Don't think we have any bingos available here, although it's not a terrible draw. Probably just homey here. It scores well. It scores 38. EIN could definitely materialize into a bingo. We keep the redriven hook, which is nice for us to hopefully go there next turn. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty tough to uh, do better than, so I'm going to go ahead and play that. Okay, he plays Fey, and uh, unfortunate Val draw for us here. We definitely not much room for error at this point. We really need to bingo and uh, and quickly. So I may I may want to do something like maybe piano here. At least I. I don't love closing down this N and this T, which are really good floaters for me, given how many bells I have. But I need to score, and it, it does at least open a line on the bottom he has to worry about, so it's not terrible. I definitely don't want to play something like Apian, because I, uh, I'm almost positive that doesn't take an S. And now I'm basically just doing his job for him and completely shutting down the right-hand side. So that, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of piano, but I don't see any other good options here for us. I definitely don't want to play something like uh, Nawi here on the right. I don't have any hooks for Ian, and it's it's pretty easy for him to deal with this by... Uh, I mean, he'll probably have a hook anyway. It takes a lot of things. It takes D, G, S, and he can easily score a lot here hooking NA and going down, or even playing through NA. So I don't I don't think uh, that really makes sense. 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play piano. Okay, he plays Skell. And still not the best lead for us here. Or, or the best draw, I should say. We've got, uh, we've got a fun play here of uh, Dagwood, which scores 28. Unloads most of our tile, so hopefully we can get something better next turn. We also have, uh, this actually scores a lot. We have Odd here for 36. Making Ope's Dink and Date. That's, that's also quite reasonable. The, uh, the extra points are certainly nice, but having, uh, having all those vowels is, uh, is not so nice. So it's kind, kind of a trade-off. We also have the fun word of Ogdoad, O-G-D-O-A-D, but I don't think we have anywhere we can play that. So yeah, I think it's pretty much between Odd and Dagwood. So once again, we're looking at Odd scoring 36, but keeping A-E-G-O, Dagwood scoring 28, so 8 less, but keeping just an E, which is a lot better, more likely to bingo. I also do like that Dagwood opens up a few more lanes for sevens for us here. So I, all in all, I feel like I'm going to go with Dagwood. Like I, I do need points, but I also really need to bingo and build up my rack quickly. Also, I could maybe get a blank or an S if I play Dagwood more likely than, uh, than odd, since I'm playing six tiles instead of three. So that's one advantage. And uh, I'll probably need one of those if I want to come back to this game, because I'm going to need two bingos almost certainly, and if I could bingo on the left, then I'll still have the redrives hook available, so I think this is probably my best bet to get back into the game. Okay, so he plays Sync, and we do have Terrans, P-T-E-R-I-N-S. We almost have Turpinals through this O and this L as a triple-triple, which would have been sweet. Also, a Soul Print as a 9 is is a fun one, but not gonna work. I guess it's worth quickly searching for non-bingo triple triples because those would score a lot. But I don't think anything is available. Top lines, pot lines, play trails. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, so probably just Terrans and Retribes is what's gonna be best. Yeah, it scores 83. So we'll, we'll definitely still be the underdog, but at least now, especially if we can pick up the blank, maybe another S, uh, we, have, we have a glimmer of hope, which is all we can ask for given how, how this game started. So let's uh, go ahead and play that. And okay, he plays Neared for pretty good score. And yeah, we're still down 80, and now we've got F-U-U-W, so not the best turn of events. It might be best to try to like, I don't even know, we can try to get like something with fouls, F-O-W-L-S. There's some words like bat fouls. I think we might be best off fishing there because that's a spot he might leave open. Like I just, I don't see any way for us to score. I mean, if, if we play fouls now, I mean, I'm going to be down 45 plus his turn keeping two U's. This is a, that's a pretty hopeless situation. Like, I kind of think I should get rid of UUR if I can and, and fish for bat fouls or P fouls or something. Problem is, how do I get rid of UUR? It's not... I could exchange three. I mean, there's two Bs and four As and a blank. So, like, getting bat fouls is actually not that unlikely and it'll score a lot it would score 60 it would score 144 which is even if i exchange once and, and fish again that's enough to get me back into the game like I, I just feel like i'm more likely to win or somehow come back if i do that as opposed to like i don't even know what what would be a sort of normal play here i mean i guess either fouls for 33 keeping two use or like war but i mean if i do this and score 14 i'm going to be down close to 100 keeping fust which isn't that likely to bingo there just aren't that many good spots either left for me to bingo so i think 
I kind of think my uh, my plan of fishing for bat fowls or, or something like that makes the most sense. So I guess that would mean exchanging UUR, which is a pretty funny play. I know it's I know it's a funny play, but I think it's the best bet. And I mean, in exchange three. I guess against Hastybot, it doesn't really use inferences, but even against a human, it could be inferred as, like, a strong leave with maybe too many eyes. Like, even against a human, I don't necessarily think it would induce them to block this spot, just because it's not that easy to hit. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's a weird play to make. Um, I'm pretty much going all in. But, yeah, I'm going to do that, and hope hopefully he doesn't block. And he did block, maybe inadvertently, but... Okay, so now, now we have to go to plan B. And, uh, I mean, this now unfortunately doesn't look too much better than we had before, which is the problem. But at least we don't have the two U's now. Is, is there anything I can still go for here? Like, tools? Toadstools? No, that's too long. Yeah, probably not. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really go for, so, okay, um, given that, probably just play Cho here, uh, I kind of like this, just sets up the S, I don't want to play Sto, since this will be a little bit harder for him to, to deal with, given there's no S's unseen, I think, yeah, this is probably my best bet now, to sort of, Shift gears, given I, I didn't get what I needed here, and he blocked my spot for bat fouls, just to kind of give myself maybe some chance. If if I can, like, catch him with the Z or something, maybe I can somehow pull this out, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. But, yeah, I think Toe is probably my best bet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I mean, certainly equ equity-wise, I'd be better off playing something like Dagwoods and Stow. But the problem is, where am I bingoing after this, right? I need to keep this lane next to Dagwood or, or with Dagwoods and, and try to expand the, the board a little bit more. So this looks good. Okay, that's, that's probably a smart play by him, just to mess with these lines a little bit. I'm still just going to check and see if I get any closer to something with Obit or Obis here, but, I mean, I see, like, Souls. I'm not, I'm too far off from Over Souls to fish for that. Tolls, Tools, yeah, I don't think I have anything there. So, what am I down? I'm down 87, so if I can score, then maybe I can somehow get within one bingo range, but it's going to be tough. Don't want to go here and abstract my stow lane. Do I have anything here with Cotties, maybe? Scut? It's not so good. I can't really get rid of the F. I could play Ficus. That's not bad. It gives me a few floaters to work with. It keeps a good leave. That might be my best bet in this, uh, in this position. I'm also getting a bit low on time, so I don't want to spend too much. Yeah, I think this looks reasonable. LST is a good leave. Give myself a few more floaters, so let's uh, let's try that. He plays goal, which is probably a smart play just to obstruct this lane a little bit. I feel like I'm getting somewhat close to stuff through this OL, but maybe, maybe I'm just dreaming. It might not be anything. I don't think I have bingos, glouders. I, I don't like glouders. I think it's just grouters. I hope I'm not wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure glouders is no good. Yeah, I just don't think I have anything to go for there. So I probably need to play off a G. Yeah, if I play off a G, maybe I can somehow pull something, and if I catch him with a, with a Z, it's, it's a real Hail Mary, but I'm... Gonna have to try something, so maybe just Jin. Yeah, I'm getting quite low on time as well. Um, I, I don't think I realistically have much of a chance here, but I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna just fish one, because I, I don't see anything more promising. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's gonna be that, since he 
bingoed again, and I don't actually think he left me anything, because Throstle doesn't fit, Holster, Hostler, wait, this, no, Throstle doesn't fit here. Holster, Hostler are the only sevens, and he has Biza, I don't know, I'm out of time, unfortunately, so I, uh, I don't see, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna just have to play quickly here. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I timed out. I didn't get my pass in on time, but I'll just uh, I'll just add the two points for him. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this was going to be a tough tough task to come back from that deficit early on. I think I did a decent job giving myself as best a chance as I could, but we we definitely should look because I may have missed some opportunities early. Let's uh, let's see. Yeah, Yeti, no. That's definitely not, not worth it. It may technically rank higher on, on Static, but HIU is pretty rough. I mean, sure, if you draw the right tiles, it could work well, but you draw even one more I or another U, you're, you're really starting to just saddle yourself with a clunky rack for probably multiple turns in a row, and you really want to get off on the right foot if you can early in the game and try try to bingo as quick as you can just to to get a lead and uh, move, move the game along. You don't want to start your three turns by playing for 14 and playing for 12 and just trying to plod through. You're much better off exchanging, taking a zero, and, and putting yourself in better position. And uh, even even though I didn't bingo back, I think that still shows here. I have a much more flexible rack, and I'm able to score 42 and, uh, and, and move on and try to put myself in a better position to stay in this game. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately he, he bingos again, and yeah, I don't think there was much else for me to do other than jury. I mean, keeping EHIO when you're down 100 isn't exactly a dream come true, but there aren't really any other good options. Youth, uh, keeping the J is is even worse. I, I need to bingo ASAP, and it's not like the J has good scoring potential. JIE doesn't go at all with this I. Uh, yeah, youth really just doesn't do anything for me. Honey, JIU is even worse. Yeah, I think Jury is, is just the best of a not-so-good lot of options here. He uh, he plays very, uh, looks solid, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, looks solid just to, to block that spot, score pretty well. Flare is reasonable too. You could make the argument for doing this just to keep a vowel on the rack, although getting rid of the V is also nice, so I think Varia looks good. There's plenty of vowels to play through, E, I, here, E, and extent, so I think FLS is, is probably a bit better than ASV. Homie looks good. Uh, Moni is a nice play here, too. It does it does take out the redriven hook, but it gives me a new lane on the right, so there's something to be said for that. Um, I think Homie is probably just a little bit better, given EIN has overall better bingo potential than EH, and I do save the N for for redriven, the the Moni hook is or the Moni lane is also easier to to deal with, right? If he can just make a play on the right, I guess it gives me a remote possibility of starting a seven with an S here, too, which which could be nice in the long term. But both of these lanes are are pretty easy to deal with, whereas the the redriven lane is actually kind of annoying. Uh, well, of course, if he doesn't have an N or an S, then he really can't deal with it. But even if he does and he he makes a play over here. Uh, sort of as you can see with Moni, if he makes a play, he'll actually be giving me a lane. So in a way, I sort of want to leave that open since it's hard for him to deal with it in a way that doesn't give me back something even bigger. So I don't think Moni's a bad play by any means, and you could definitely make an argument for it. But I think uh, I think Homie is is quite reasonable here. E I E I N is a uh, good good leave if I want to try to bingo ASAP, which of course needs to be my goal here. So yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty solid. He plays Fey. Yeah, AELS is a great leave. Scores 36, so can't really uh, complain about this one. Um, oh, I did think I missed Epinawi here. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks a lot better than than what I did. I had, I had a funny feeling I was missing something on this turn. I just uh, I even saw I was close to Epinawi. I just I don't know. I didn't I didn't notice that I in uh, in Ice Wine for for some reason. So yeah, that's uh, that's a mistake for sure. I mean, piano opens this O, but that doesn't even really help me, because I'm keeping two more valves. I'm not that likely to be able to use it, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm much better off scoring 10 more points here, and I still keep that N and that, that T open, so yeah, this this is a pretty sizable mistake, so pretty pretty sloppy on my part there. Uh, he plays Scale, which just, I don't know, it's an interesting play. I mean, the Peso hook is not that likely to be used for a bingo. It's not easy to end a word in O or OS. 
it just uh, it just feels like sort of an odd play to be using the the S four, but maybe the other options just aren't good. Yeah, Ken's is okay as well. Null, I maybe prefer Null just to uh, just to keep the the S. Although you could make the argument there's three S's unseen, so it's not actually that valuable. And and Skill does at least partially obstruct this O. I guess he just can't really play through this O in any sort of reasonable way. Which is uh, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, it's kind of a weird looking play to me, but I guess it's fine. I, I don't really like Ken's because it just doesn't really feel like it accomplishes much. It does block the re driven and re drives hook though, which is nice. There's something to be said for that as well. So I don't I don't know. Ken's isn't terrible. I mean ALL is not the best given the the duplicate L's, but it's uh, it's certainly not great. So yeah, I don't know. I would. I would maybe lean towards towards Ken's actually, just because with Skell, as we saw in the game, he is still going to have to worry about this non-bingo triple-triple possibility, and it actually becomes a little bit annoying to deal with in a good way for him. And this this peso hook, it's not likely for me to hit it, but if, if I do, it's also going to be really hard for him to deal with potentially. So I kind of think Ken's is a little bit better just because... Yeah, you leave this O open, but now you're kind of taking out Redriven and Redrive. You're not giving anything back on the O column. It just feels overall a bit more sound. So yeah, I, th I think I would have gone with Ken's if I were him. Uh, but okay, he goes with Skell. Yeah, here I was between Odd and Dagwood. I, I ultimately chose Dagwood, which I still think is fine, just because A-E-G-O, especially given the lanes I'm looking to bingo through right now are, are more Val heavy, like an E and an I. Uh, I think... AEGO is likely to get me into a lot of trouble, and uh, Dagwood does does go more for the S's and, and the blank, which will be really crucial for me to to bingo and get back into this game, and give me a couple lanes for for sevens and also hooking Dagwoods. It just gives me better lanes than I have now available to me on that side of the board. So it's a few less points, but given the better positional uh, attributes and just keeping a better leave, I think I think it's got to be better. Uh, this looks pretty straightforward for him. 37 points, gets rid of the Q, and keeps keeps a strong leave. So can't argue with this one. And uh, Terran's... Actually, there's pre-insert here, too, which is a, a fun one. Of course, it's way worse. It's uh, 21 less points. It, it does open the board a little bit more, so there's something to be said for, for that. But uh, you can't be giving up 21 points. That's that's way, way, way too much. So, yeah, this uh, this looks perfectly good. Uh, yeah, near solid play by him, just uh, scoring well. And yeah, this this is where I, I don't know, I, I sort of went a very unconventional route. I, I changed UUR going for bat fouls, trying to draw uh, an A and a B, which, uh, yeah, it's it's sort of a desperate play. Um, I, I get that. I just, I was really uninspired by options like fouls or... Uh, I don't think I saw Surf, but, I mean, this is uh, ugly, too. I mean, I scored 28, but T-U-W, and then on this board, I mean, what am I... What's my path to coming back, right, after Surf? I'm going to still be down 50. I'm going to have T-U-W without any great things to draw to, to salvage it. And, I mean, where am I bingoing? He just plays, like, here or does anything, and I just have no future on this board after Surf. I really don't see any legitimate path to victory. And similarly, after fouls, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to, I'll be down 45. I'm keeping two U's in a pool that's not that great. And, I mean, what, he he's going to probably just block up next to Dagwoods, and I'll be pretty much just locked in and have worse tiles than him and, and no way to come back. So I kind of felt like I, I needed to take a drastic measure if I wanted any chance of, of winning this game. And, I mean... Obviously, my play is, is terrible on static, right? Because FSTW is not a good leave. But I, I felt that, you know, there's four A's, there's two B's. He could basically have anything after Neared. There's a blank. Like, my odds of picking up bat fouls either on the next turn or even within the next two turns are, are low, but they're not that low. And he's not that likely to block because... There's other spots for him to worry about still, like next to, to Dagwood, or maybe even words ending in S-E making ice wines. So he's I don't think he's that likely to block that spot. That even for a human, an exchange three could easily be like maybe four eyes or something, and you exchange three eyes to keep like 
E-I-S-T. It doesn't necessarily mean, oh, he exchanged three. He's clearly fishing for something big here. I don't think even a human would necessarily interpret that with uh, with alarm bells for a fish here. So I think this spot is likely to stay open. And interestingly, this kind of goes back to why I didn't like his play of Skell. Because ironically, yes, it does sort of block the O, but it blocks it in a way that makes it harder to deal with and more subtle, that later on it gives your opponent something to fish for. And that's exactly what I took advantage of here. So... I sort of ironically liked leaving the O more wide open because then it makes it easier for you to see what your opponent might be going for and deal with it accordingly. Whereas now I can kind of conceal this fish for, for bat fouls. So I I still maintain that from a win percentage standpoint, what I did is, is correct. Uh, of course, it didn't really work out. But I just, everything else is so gross here with this rack. I just didn't really see any other legitimate pass to victory so it's it's a weird play but i think it's a, a creative play that actually makes sense so um yeah i i don't know tough tough position if anyone has any better ideas or if you think it was a great play or a terrible play uh, i won't be offended feel free to to comment and be happy to discuss that one more i think it's a pretty cool turn uh yeah he plays obi which looks solid it uh whether knowingly or not blocks blocks this spot scores pretty well and keeps the blank so he's pretty clearly in the driver's seat and and yeah, now my uh, my whole plan is is ruined here. I was of course gonna fish again if I if I uh, didn't hit, but now there's there's no point since uh, bat fouls or anything else ending in fouls for that matter is it isn't gonna fit. So yeah, pretty much I was at a loss here. I mean, I thought about Stow, but I I know I'm leaving myself no chance to bingo really on this board. I mean, he can just kind of go up here, and yeah, there's really no other lanes for me. I I need to keep this. E column open and this uh, this S uh, this S star possibility with Dagwood, so that's why I uh, I went for Toe just to be proactive and uh, open another lane and maybe I can uh, bingo with Fossate or something like that and catch him with a Z and a couple of U's and come back. It's it's unlikely but it's not inconceivable. So uh, need to you know important to be able to quickly shift gears. I, I had a plan, it got foiled. So uh, let's see what else I can do to maybe give myself an outside shot. So I think this looks okay. Kadi, I like this play a lot because it makes it really hard for me to bingo next to uh, next to Dagwood. I'd have to start with probably ST now specifically to go under it. So uh, yeah, I like this play. Definitely makes my life a bit more difficult. Ficus, not the most exciting play, but now this lane isn't so good for me. So I need to keep being proactive because it's easy for him to shut down one of these lines. He can just play a uh, three here. Like if he plays, I don't know, Gig, let's say then that lane is completely gone. And if I don't make something down here that I can play through, then I'm going to be totally uh, bereft of bingo lines and opportunities to come back. So I think this play is, you know, not likely to result in anything good, but it's about as good as I can do in this situation. Flues doesn't really open anything up. Um, so yeah, I think, I think Ficus looks all right. He played, what did he play? He played goal. That's okay. It sort of partially obstructs the uh, the stole lane. I guess he probably doesn't have, uh, well, this would be crazy at this score. Um, I guess he doesn't really have a great way to block here, perhaps. But I'd, I'd prefer, I might even prefer something like G-O-R next to, next to Toe just to completely obstruct it. Although the good thing about goal is now if I do bingo with Sto, I'm not going to be scoring much because I won't be hitting a double word. So even if I do bingo there, he should still be able to outrun, especially in light of uh, the fact that I'll be giving up the triple word score on the top. So yeah, this is this is fine. I, uh, I'm, I'm totally good with that play. Yeah, I'm, I was at a loss here and, and running low on time. Uh, I just fished off a G. Um, I could play go. I don't. I don't honestly think it really matters here. If if he plays smartly and just doesn't empty the bag, then I don't see myself with scoring almost nothing on this turn and being down eighty. Realistically, being able to to come back. So more more or less, I think I need to hope he he messes up. Which uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty pretty unlikely either way. So I, I think this is this is reasonable. I mean, it, it still bingo's a decent amount. Like a, an A will hit. Uh, Olestras, which is the most likely tile, uh, for instance, Beal had trouble, so I, th I think it's probably okay. But of course, he uh, he he slaps down Emulator, and uh, at this point, I'm I'm out of time, so I just uh, I don't even I think I just played SH, which is I'm sure not not a good play, but it's uh, sort sort of a moot point at this point, and 
I I played Tolls, which is again, of course, uh, horrible. I mean, I have much much better plays. And then he, uh, I think I I timed out here. I was, um, I guess, did he? Oh, he didn't go out. Okay, yeah, I timed out. So let me let me quickly go to Quackle and just uh, figure out what the uh, I'll do like I did the other game, just to be consistent. I'll give myself a ten point penalty and figure out what the final score would have been had I uh, had I not timed out. So uh, let me quickly export this. All right, so he played Ab. I I will give myself a pass. And then his best out would have been Li, which he would have found. So, okay, 524, 524 to 331, we'll say, was the final score for this game. So a, a bit of a blowout, but um, I, I didn't play terribly. I, I guess the, I made that one, uh, that one big mistake of missing Epinawi on the piano turn. That was, uh, that was not good. I, I definitely should have seen that, given I was, I was certainly looking for for plays like that, so that's it, it was it was a pretty substantial mistake, probably about a ten point mistake in in equity back on uh, back on this turn here. So um, not not great. I can't given that I can't reasonably say I did everything I could to come back in this game. But uh, I mean, other than that, I think I played fine. So yeah, I mean, not not the best game for me, not not the worst, but uh, well well played by the bot. He did a good job at uh, getting a lead early. And holding on. So with this game, he brings the match score closer. It is now eight to seven in my favor. So things are, are definitely tightening up. And we'll see in game 16 if I can uh, get back on the winning train or if he ties the series up at eight apiece. So there's only one way to find out, and that will be to watch game 16, which will be coming very soon. So thanks, guys, for, for watching, and uh, have a good one. Bye bye.